What's up, Everyday Blades? Man, we got an oldie but a goodie here today. Not super old, but it's definitely not a new knife. ZT0450. Little brother to the 0542. The 0542 is an awesome knife. It's just massive. It's just way too big. Um, this one might almost have the opposite effect. It might be a little bit small, but I don't think so. So let's get into it. This one is a titanium scale. Both sides comes with an S35 VM blade. There's another variant that comes with carbon fiber with a uh, coated uh, black coated blade. I, my perfect setup would be carbon fiber with a satin blade like this because that blade is beautiful. But I haven't found that. I don't think they make that. <clears throat> I picked this up at Collector's Firearms here in Houston. Great place to buy knives. They're a little bit... Some of the knives are overpriced. This one wasn't. They have a pretty good Marfion selection, believe it or not. Uh, one of the few places I've been in that even has a Marfion selection. We don't have any dedicated knife shops here in Houston that I know about. They're all some other type of business that happens to sell knives. Um, now, to their credit they have quite a few knives but they carry like four or five brands and that's it one of them be a microtech marfion uh, zt kershaw and tour they carry tour knives i bought a tour knife there not too long ago but it's a cool place they have every um it's not commercial for them it's just a cool place if you're in houston you need to go to because they have just about every firearm ever made throughout history there uh, I'd be very surprised if you named a firearm they didn't have. Uh, so if you're into that kind of thing, that's cool too. Uh, this comes, I was kind of shocked that it comes in bubble wrap. It didn't come with a, most of your $200 plus knives now, or, or even close to that, come with a zipper pouch. Uh, so, <clears throat> near the here nor there. We don't use them, but it's nice to get. So, let me polish this off a little bit so I can show you that it does come with a polished pivot which is very nice double-sided polished pivot red uh, standoffs look very nice anodized I like the longer pocket clip it gives it a little bit more spring ease this one goes in and out of the pocket really easily um, the only issue I found with this one is when I went to open it the lock bar pressure was really tight it still functioned fine um, but it was a little bit gritty Still kind of is a little bit gritty right there. I need to clean it out. All, all I've done is adjust the lock bar and put it back together. I took some of the lock bar pressure off. Put the over travel stop back in and it's much better now. I mean, it just flings out there with no effort at all. So it'll almost drop shut now, which most of these won't do. But whenever you can take a significant amount of lock bar pressure off and it still locks up solid with no lock rock, you have very good lock geometry, which all knives should have. Uh, the only other little nitpick is these are T6 screws with a T8 pivot. Of course, I'd like to see T8, but this is a smaller knife, so we'll overlook that. The Another thing I've said before is the lock bar relief cutout. I'd like to see that on the inside, if that's possible. Uh, there's no milling for weight, but you don't need it with this knife. It's sub, sub three ounces. And if, when you get down to a knife that light, I mean, it's just not a factor. The only, the only time weight becomes a factor is when you get, you know, over the, like, the four-inch line in my book. You can still, you might be able to hear it. A little bit of grittiness in there. But I believe once I clean it out, all the bearings, uh, that that will, that will subside. There was a ton of Loctite. I mean, they went crazy with it. I had to double-side it and really crank on it to get it off. But there's a, there's a knife I have that this reminds me of quite a bit. It's actually my favorite knife. And that is the Shirogorov Neon Zero. You can see those knives favor a lot. Now, <clears throat> the build quality is not going to be on par. Because the price is nowhere near on par. This knife's like three times as much as this knife. But it's a very similar size. <clears throat> very similar profile uh the blade's a little larger on the shirogorov but i'm nowhere near saying it's as good as a shirogorov because it absolutely is not and there's very few knives that are 
but for $220, I think you're getting your money's worth with this. I'm, I'm glad that I bought it and I'm glad I was able to review it. Let's check some measurements on it. <clears throat> and one thing is it's over the three inch mark. It's like three, three and three sixteenths. So that could be an issue if you have three inch laws in your, in your area. Scales are running four and an eighth total is hitting on seven and a half. <clears throat> we'll verify the weightage. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 3.1 ounce. Okay, so it's just a hair over three ounces, but it's just a hair over three inches. So if you go by that ounce and inch thing, that's really nice. It works out really well. Let's look at it up against a couple of other knives that are really popular. This is the Para 3. And this is the Grip. Benchmade Grip Chilling. So, I can get pretty easily, I have uh, two XL hands, and I can pretty easily get four fingers on here. That fourth finger tries to hang off just a hair, but I have the main thing is do you have control, and I have plenty of control of the knife. Uh, I just really like this. They had a tour that was very similar to this, a smaller size, and I almost got it, but I, I actually like the visuals of this one better. This is just a great overall carry knife. It's big enough to get done what you need to get done for most of what all of us do, um, but it's small enough that you could even wear with light gym shorts. So, I'm, I, and I truly believe I can clean up that action and won't have that gritty sound in there. So. Anyway, that is the 0450. I have, I have reviewed the 0452. You can go back and check that out in my um, playlist under ZT. So, guys, thanks for watching. Guys, please subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Please like, comment. It really helps us out. We're a growing channel. Um, we'd, like to, we'd like to grow this into a really nice size channel to complement our Facebook group and kind of everything we got going on here. And we appreciate all you guys' support. Thank you to our Patreons. You guys are huge help uh, with covering costs for shipping and things like that. If you want to join our Patreon, most of the knives we get in from makers and companies for review, we we give those away to our Patreon. So we give some away to the group and some away to the Patreons, but your chances of winning in our Patreon are way higher. I think we have 14 members, and every time we do a group giveaway, which is about every couple of weeks, we do a Patreon giveaway. A very seldom we do one without the other. So lots of knives given away so if you're into that go join our patreon uh level tier two or till tier three are the levels that win knives uh the tier one is just a kind of an honorary membership thanks for watching god bless you and your families say a prayer for our country good night